Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have some more toy pickups to show you guys. I got these all at the Valley Village on separate days. And I have to say these are kind of interesting, but there was one disappointment. And I'm actually going to start out with the disappointment. Um, I know usually to stay away from these just because there's usually missing parts. Um, or broken parts, but... I stupidly went ahead and bought them anyways. It was a bag of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for $3.99. And I don't even think like one of them is salvageable. Um, basically, here's a um, Michelangelo from the uh, mid-90s, I believe. Uh, early to mid-90s. And he's missing his uh, nunchucks that go in the back there. Um, otherwise, he's perfectly fine. Uh, these three here are all from the 80s, and these are actually, if I remember correctly, I think they're from the same set. Uh, this one here, it's uh, Michelangelo again, but you can see the obvious issue with this one. He's missing an arm. Uh, well, that is his forearm and his hand. I didn't even realize that when I grabbed this bag. I blindly just assumed that it was all in there. Um, next up is this Donatello. Uh, he has something rattling inside of him, and he's missing his hockey stick uh, that I believe he's supposed to go with. But surprisingly, he actually stands up very well for the fact that he has blades attached to his freaking feet. Um, I know there are skates, but they're pretty much just attached directly to his feet. Um, and then the last one here is Raphael with this weird spinning action. Um, he also is supposed to be holding a bat here, and of course he's dressed as a baseball player, and he swings around and swings his bat. Um, I mean, this one, this one here is probably in the best condition, uh, and the other ones, I just, I don't know, I think I might just put them in the closet. Uh, I can't really return these now because I've already lost the receipt and it's been a couple of days since I got them but what can you do? Sometimes sometimes uh, you make mistakes when buying used uh, used stuff so you just have to learn to deal with it. Um, next up uh, along with those there I found this that I'm actually um, a little bit happier with um, I believe these are all the parts that were supposed to come with him in the package. Um, for those of you that might not recognize this, uh, there was a movie in the 80s called uh, The Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Um, there was also Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. I believe Army of Darkness was Evil Dead 3 but I might be wrong, correct me if I am wrong. Uh, basically, this is the main character here. His name is Ash, uh, and this is when he's been possessed, and he's called Deadite uh, Ash. So it's um, Deadite, like D-E-A-D-I-T-E. -E. Um, that's him there, and just previously, uh, like right before he gets possessed, uh, he's had to decapitate his girlfriend, who's also been possessed, uh, and, yeah, that's, that's her decapitated head. There's a funny sequence in the movie where, um, he continues to interact with her, de uh, her decapitated head, and there's just a funny exchange of words there. Uh, here's also his severed hand that he cuts off on his own, and, uh, the, uh, book from the movie as well, uh, that releases all the, uh, the bad spirits and stuff that go ahead and possess everyone. Um, I honestly forget what the book is called, but if you remember right now, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, next up, I got this today at the Value Village. Um, it's not necessarily a toy, but it is Lego. Um, it's a very specific kind of Lego. It's Lego Shima or Chima. Honestly, not sure. But what it is, is an alarm clock that lights up as well. And, I don't know, I thought it was kind of interesting. And for three bucks, I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, 
I don't recognize this character. If anybody knows who this character is, again, please let me know. But he was in pretty decent condition, and the clock still works, so I was like, why not go for it? It was interesting enough. Next up, I went to the store that I go to every so often, uh, but not as often as other stores just because they barely ever have anything that's worthwhile at that store. But I found this here. It's a toy from a series that I used to watch in the early 2000s. Um, I believe it was uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Um, basically, I like this show. It was interesting enough in that it was one of those TV shows that pretty much sold a toy, but it was still fun to watch it. <laughs> Not to say that other TV shows that were pretty much long commercials weren't fun to watch, but I particularly like this uh, this TV show. Um, what it is, is a figure of the main character uh, of the show. It's Metabots, and that's Meta B. Um, it's brand new in the box, and I got this for $3. Um, the thing that I liked about these toys here is that their parts were interchangeable. So if you had other figures, you could just swap out all their pieces. Uh, they had a torso, two arms, a lower body, and a head. And, um, yeah, you could just swap them around. Some of them had tails. Some of them had uh, other supplementary accessories, things like that. Uh, I never really learned how to play the game. It involves this weird uh, cylind cylindrical die there, but... I just, I never bothered to actually learn how to play the game. I just really enjoyed uh, playing around with the figures. Um, the last thing that I have here to show you guys is a pretty big box. Um, I've gotten something like this uh, before at that specific value village. But this one here is much cooler and it's 100% uh, complete because it's actually pretty much brand new. Uh, just the box is open, but all the bags inside are still sealed. It's a kit, a master grade kit for uh, a Gundam. This one here, if I can remember, which I can, so I'm going to look it up. Uh, it's RX78-2, the EFSF prototype close combat mobile suit. Uh, I don't know if I will attempt to build this on my own, I have tried to do this only once before, and I failed miserably. Uh, even the last time that I tried to just fix a figure, I sort of poorly superglued it together, but at least it's sticking for now. I have a couple of them up there, not that you can really make them out, but I have a couple there that are interesting enough. And this one here, I honestly don't remember much about uh, the Gundam series, but... This guy looks really familiar, and now his design could just be generic, but he looks exceedingly familiar to me, and I just, I can't put, like, um, I just, I, I can't remember where uh, I saw him exactly, like, where this specific Gundam is featured in the series. Uh, but if you know, please, please let me know. Uh, anyways, that's all I got in terms of toys. As always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suge suggestions, ideas, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my 300 subscribers contest. It'll be linked in the description below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, website, they're all linked in the description below as well. And that's about it. See ya.